And now our tail of the tape for this lightweight fight. We set it inside the octagon. Here's Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. for this one. Ready. I don't believe it. After five failed attempts to lock the octagon door behind Habib Nurmagomedov and Tony Ferguson tonight. Quick level check. Oh! What a fantastic takedown. Nurmagomedov's in half court. All right, so he's got the ground and pound game going here. Nice movement to avoid some of those strikes from the top. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. And now the jab gets through. All right, if you're the wrestler, you just ain't a big uppercut. Quick level check. Oh! That was switched off to a high crotch, rotated him, and took the full wide. That was a big takedown. No defense. These two are going back to the low kick there from Tony Ferguson. Now we'll see if we get a level change here, DC. You know he mixes it up as well as any lightweight in this division. Big strike lands. Big strike lands. Now he looks to try to chase down that pick. Quick entry to get Man, it on a single. Well, he's in a compromising spot here, DC. You gotta figure out a way to get back to your feet. He needs to shove the knee, hip heist, and get back up to your feet. Nurmago Madoff gets back up. Well, no denying the durability on the other side, but at this point, you just gotta find that kill shot and get him out of it. A lot of times that comes with reps, his double leg shot. Oh, he slams his opponent to the canvas. I think the octagon is shaking, DC. The octagon was shaking. Somebody secure the doors <laughs> because they are going to blow the roof off of this place. Nurmago Medov gets back up here. Oh, he's got hand skills for days. Beautiful combination of punches to the head. Double look shot. Three gets the takedown. Oh, slams him down with authority, DC. Now we'll see what he can do with it, but certainly an impactful moment in the round. He slams him down with so much conviction, and nothing is more discouraging for your opponent than being lifted up off of his feet and then slammed back down to the mat. All right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. Nicely done. Now he's on top exactly where he wanted to go. Ferguson's in half guard now. Oh, how about that? Strong reversal on the ground. On his back now, he's going for the rear naked choke. Oh, that looks tight to me. It looks like it might be locked in. Yeah, it looks like it's done. It looks like it's done. Oh, how'd he get out? Push the elbow up. Release the pressure and turn his back down to the mat. Great job and great submission defense by this young man. All right, there's the horn indicating the end of the round. So the fighter now with a cut on his lip. That is something he's going to have to deal with. You see the cut man not wasting any time getting in there. We'll see if he can shut that thing and prevent it from being a factor for him moving forward. All right, so there's the end of the round. And on one side, thrill on the other agony after that knockdown. Yeah, he was able to really damage him with that big punch. You see the hands, the speed, how sharp he is how technical he is. It allows him to land in spots where his opponent is winging punches. Great strike landed, great punch landed to put his opponent down. Ready. All right, round two. That's a pretty good right hand there by your teammate. 
you're so worried about the wrestling that when the hands come, you're not expecting it. And a shot of double leg. Oh, he slams him to the ground. Oh, he puts his knee on belly. He's posturing, landing huge ground and ball. The guy has to move or the fight's gonna get finished. He's going Kimura now. Oh, could be the beginning of the end. That looks to him. Defense holds up, he gets out. He said that he was ready for everything that would be thrown at him. In that position, he showed that and proved it. Oh, he might be in trouble here. And he's out again. Fighters back to their feet here. Well, sometimes our stat guys are stingy with these submission attempt numbers. There have been a lot of them here. Submission defense has held up every step of the way. Yeah, he's a great grappler. And he's really, really good. El Kukui getting work from the top here. These ground and pound strikes very effective. Let's see if he tries to work his way back to his feet. Ooh, this could be it. That thing is tight. That arm triangle is deep. Oh, he got out. How good is that? This guy is so aware. He never leaves anything long to allow for himself to get subbed. Oh, compromising spot here. Triangle choke is locked in. There's the tag! Absolutely remarkable what this fighter was able to accomplish here tonight. As you can see, the years of repetitions in the gym to set it up and ultimately get the tap there. Great technique to set up the finish. All right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. He was able to get the fight to the ground exactly where he wanted it. Eventually, his opponent gave him an opportunity to get a submission. He did that, and he should be very proud of the work he did tonight in the octagon. All right, we now go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Gaines called a stop to this contest at 2 minutes, 36 seconds of round number 2. Declaring the winner by submission due to a triangle choke, Habib the Eagle, Nurmagomedov! All right, so Habib Nurmagomedov had a lot of submissions late in his UFC title run. He gets another one here tonight, and when you get to the ground with this guy,